shall reflect on the life of Saint Francis Xavier. Born on the 7th of April 1506, Francis was second among the band of seven who took their vows as the first Jesuits on the 15th of August 1534. Ordained priest on the 24th of June 1537, he celebrated his first Mass after a rigorous 40-day fast and spiritual preparation. After a while, sickness put a stop to his preaching at Bologna, and while he was serving Ignatius as secretary in Rome, a call came from King John III of Portugal for Jesuit missionaries to be sent out to the East Indies. At only a day's notice, Francis set out with the Portuguese ambassador on the three-month trip across the Alf and Spain to Lisbon. The 11,000-mile sea voyage itself consumed 13 months, for the ship wintered at Mozambique. Landing in Goa on the west coast of India, Francis busied himself learning the local language, nursing and comforting the sick, preaching and teaching catechism. From Goa, Francis went south to the fishery coast and spent two years among the pearl fishers, learning their language and instructing them carefully for weeks and months before admitting them to baptism. His novel method, which ever after met with great success, was to go through the streets chiming a little bell, and when the children and their mothers came flocking, he would lead them to a church and explain the faith with exemplary patience and affectionate zeal. Later, he would revisit the missions, but meanwhile, native-born priests were trained to consolidate and carry on the work further. The year 1544 saw Francis in Ceylon. From there, he went to Malacca, to the Spice Islands, to Cochin, China, and some believe that he even reached Philippines. Then, having met a fugitive from Japan, he undertook a missionary journey to that island, landing in Kagoshima on the 15th of August, 1549. Struggling with the language, and in spite of bitter opposition from the Buddhist monks, his preaching was accompanied by numerous miracles. Francis, a teacher by training and temperament, and a preacher by choice, succeeded in drawing so many to the faith that within a span of 40 years, the faithful in Japan numbered some 400,000. In a windswept hut on Sanchun Island, he succumbed to fever on the 3rd of December, 1552. In 1553, his body found incorrupt and fresh after over two months of burial was returned to Goa, where it is venerated to the present day in the Basilica of Bon Jesus. He was beatified in 1619 and canonized by Pope Gregory XV on the 12th of March, 1622.